It's a taser incident right in front of the Kroger in Spring Grove Village, where the only thing more shocking than the voltage involved is the it's age of the victim. You know, you know what I'm saying? I understand they're 16, 17, or something like that, but this is 11-year-old child. She didn't deserve it. Donna Gowdy is the mother of 11-year-old Donisha Gowdy. They both admit she was shoplifting when the officer, who's also African-American, told her to stop. They begged me to walk out, so I walked out, and when he told me to stop, kept going. Now, why'd stop. you keep going when he said stop? Because I was scared. Donisha says she was walking away when she was hit in the back with a taser. They tased her in the back. So, first of all, she said she stopped and then she fell. Then shivering. So, evidently, this man was holding his taser like this with my baby to be sitting here shivering. Police say none of the cameras at Kroger captured the incident, and the officer tried but failed to turn on his body camera before the incident. Today, Vice Mayor Chris Smitherman signed a motion to raise the allowable age for taser use from seven to 12. And I want to understand, obviously, comprehensively what, what happened and maybe why the officer thought that tasing was the best course of, of use of force and not detaining the child. Meanwhile, Donna is pressing Donisha to understand her part in the incident. You're not defending what she did. No, no, I'm not defending what she did. Like I said, what she did was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, two wrongs don't make a right. That just flat out. He's an adult. He should have known better. Now, Donisha was checked out at Children's. She seemed to be okay physically, but her mother is concerned about what problems she might face down the road after all this. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.